Hello friends, welcome to the education way. So in this chapter, we will discuss about the force on a current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic field. Okay, force in a force in the conductor which is placed in the magnetic field. So consider consider a current carrying conductor of length L. Okay, and uh, this is the conductor which is the length L and uh, the A is the cross sectional area here the A is the cross sectional area of this conductor let the N is equal to free electron density of the conductor and the total number of free electrons in the conductor which is equal to the capital N which is equal to small n A L where the small n is the free electron density, A is the area of cross-sectional area of the conductor and L is the length of the conductor. As the electron drifting toward the positive terminal, okay, as the electron drifting toward the positive terminal of the cell, so each electron experiences a force, okay, which is equal to force acting on each electron is what, which is uh, denoted by small f, which is equal to electron which is this uh, electron into drift velocity into magnetic field drift velocity here the drift velocity is perpendicular to magnetic field which is equal to the, the value of this which is equal to small f and the force acting on the conductor the whole conductor which is equal to capital N and small f putting the value of capital N and the capital N which is equal to force is equal to NAL electron into drifting velo or drift velocity into magnetic field. So the total force on the conductor which is equal to minus NAL EVD cross B. Here we know that the I is equal to ANEVD which is called Vena. I is equal to Vena. V D E N A. Okay, so multiply both side by L. If we multiply both side by L, we get I into L. Here we get A N E V D into L. So this is the value we will get. Put this value on the place of A E N A L V D, which is equal to I L. So we get we get force is equal to bill which is bill sin theta because this is the vector quantity so case first when theta is equal to 0 degree okay or a 180 degree so the value of sin 0 is equal to or sin 180 is equal to 0 so force is equal to bil which is the minimum force on the conductor if we are talking about the case second, when the theta is 90 degree, sin, sin theta which is equal to sin 90 which is equal to 1 and the force will be BIL which is maximum. Okay, the force maximum at theta is equal to 90 degree. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe 